Our project is on the five stages of decision making where we focus on pasta sauce. Decision making is based off of values, preferences, and beliefs of the said decision maker. So they vary from person to person. For stage one problem recognition, we decided to put a chart from the textbook in. When ideal state goes up and actual state stays the same, you have opportunity recognition. Versus when actual state goes down, you have need recognition. These kind of help determine the need or the opportunity for buying the pasta sauce in the first place. So for information search, we have a bell curve here. We're at the bottom of the bell curve on the left side. We have people that do not know anything about pasta sauce. They're just going to go to the store and buy it. At the top of the bell curve, we have moderately knowledgeable people. They know a decent amount about pasta sauce, so they're going to keep researching the pasta sauce brands and seeing which one's the best for their value or their different importance values. And at the bottom right of our bell curve, we have the extremely knowledgeable pasta sauce users who have been buying it for a long time and will just continue to buy it without doing any more research. For stage three, identifying alternatives, we have like three main ways that people do it, but we're going to focus on evoked in consideration. So with evoked, it's basically every pasta sauce you can think of and consideration is essentially what you would buy of that. And from there, you kind of run into like biases or uh, brand loyalty where you kind of get in the group of what you like. So for stage four, product choice, like I said before, with brand loyalty, you kind of get into a habitual response where you will just buy the same thing out of habit. However, like loyalty is much better than habit because habit changes. Place for best pasta sauce goes to. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there, and they say yeah, and they say there. Homemade pasta sauce will always win. But with inspiration from the regions of Italy, we're a pretty close second. We took lifelong pasta experts and gave one Prego traditional and one Ragu traditional. This is what happened. That's because even Ragu users prefer the taste of Prego traditional. Okay, so for product choice decision example, we're going to also mention the videos uh, that we just watched for we compared Classico, Ragu, Prego, and then just homemade uh, pasta sauce. So we did things that people would consider as in total cost, the taste, health, how accessible it is, and appearance. So um, with that, with the Lexo graphic, Prego won. And then just eliminating everything, Classico, um, the conjunctive, we came to the conclusion it was Classico and Prego, the disjunctive, all of them. And linear compensatory rule was Prego, as you can see within the chart. And for that, we kind of wanted to go into the different voice response, the third party response and the private response. You always hope that you have a private response where people are talking directly to you and you have a chance to fix that bond with the customer. On that kind of basis, we feel like all the brands besides Well Homemade did a very good job in how they set everything up. And then they had a decent amount of third-party responses on different reviewing sites telling you what to buy, what not to buy. And in this case, we're counting third-party viewing sites as uh, grocery store websites.